Welcome back to Phoenix Point, folks. We have got to set up an area scan over here. And we need to rest up with our guys on the Manticore so that we can go do this uh, biogenesis uh, mission for Synidrian. And then head over and take out this Pandoran layer. Or... Ah. I guess we'll take out this Pandoran layer first. Because it's close to home base, which we do not like. So let's rest up. And, is under attack. Uh, Haven Bellamy is under attack. Where is Bellamy? Over there. There is not a chance in hell that we're making it there in time. Or is there? It's not that far away. I suppose we could. Uh, let's have a quick look at our personnel. I want to specifically look at uh, Ryun here. Because he can do a Iconoclast. Which I would much rather have than this weird Redeemer rifle, which I really don't see the point in. So... We'll take him out. Now, we could mutate him. No, we couldn't. No, we couldn't. Okay, uh, I actually want to see this screaming head. Uh, it is a head mutation, so... Uh, head mutation... Armored head, synod head, judgment head, screaming head. Okay. So... What we really want is this one. Or our other guy. That mutation. Okay. Mutation slots used one of two, so we could mutate some... Other stuff on him. We'll see. We'll see. Right now, we'll head to the Geoscape. And we'll send the guys over here to try and help out uh, Sanidrian over there. Here, we need to do an area scan and we need to explore. Whoops. <clears throat> Okay, exploration site, the mines. Our optives are set down near an abandoned mining complex. Their machinery has been left to rust, uh, rust and no sign of anyone alive or dead. The place has been picked clean. Searching the mine itself might yield better results, but after years of abandonment, it might no longer be stable. Uh... <sighs> We're going to risk searching the mines and the complex. Uh, the search was exhausting and there was a small accident in the mine shaft, but we have recovered several caches of useful resources. 95 techs, tech, 120 materials. The soldiers suffered a bit of damage, but nothing severe and we lost some stamina. That's all fine and dandy. So let's... Uh, we'll come back up here later, I think. We'll head down and do this thing, and then we'll head down to South Africa and set up a scan down there. Let's see, is he making it? Yes, we made it. Ooh, that's strong. High threat level, it's night. But it's pretty decent rewards. Oof. Oof. All right, Haven Defense it is. Everyone is set up the way I want them, because you did get the Iconoclast. So let's deploy the squad. All right, this mission is going to be tough, I think. I think this mission is going to be tough. We are defending a Synedrian heaven, Haven. Synedrian, or however you pronounce it. I think it is Synedrian. Uh, Alright. 
So they probably have high ground on us, right? Which isn't great. Let's move up. There is really no cover here. None. There's that and there's that. That's basically it. Let's head over into half cover here. Do we see anything we do? What the heck is that? A siren. Hit points 390, will points 30. Uh, torso acid single shot. Okay, and then injector arms. Three injector arms that injects virus. Okay, 20 armor on everything. Mind control can gain control of an enemy with uh, willpower cost equal to enemy's current willpower of will points. Psychic scream reduces the will points of all enemy units within a limited range. Ejects acid in an area cone. Okay. So that is someone that we want to take down and take down fast. You can't dash yet. You can. Push dash up here. Now how much does this rapid clearing cost? Five will points. Dang it. Alright, dash. No here. Rest for the wicked. We oh, there's another one. Uh -oh. Acquiring target. All right, we'll. Everything has twenty. So we'll shoot center mass. All right. And there's you. You can dash three times. So dash. Whoa! What? I did not ask you to do that. Crap! Stupid mouse. You can dash twice. Dash over there. Dash over here and finish this thing off. You can dash three times. You can dash three times. Let's start with you. Now oh, it would be pretty cool to catch one of these, th these things, but I think we're in a position right now where it's not going to be one of these two. And dash. Uh, mm. um, dash over here. And fire your weapon. Alright, that's two sirens down. You wasted a dash, you dummy. Uh, doesn't really matter. Come up close here. I suppose you could move up here. Let's move up here. Don't open the door, please. Thank you. And then you can come up here. And I think overwatch in a wide arc. Covering! And end the turn. Something's going on with this guy. Well, there's a thing there. And there's a triton.
I took a shot. Well. Okay, where is... Okay, that's there. The Triton is there. And he did hit. Now, you can... He's behind that tree, isn't he? Uh... Head up here. Take a shot at him. Right, he went invisible, but he is right there. So come up here. Where was he? There. I think it's dead. I hope it's dead. Alright. You can dash once. Which is not enough. You can... Let's come over here. And let's overwatch. This. Down in this direction. I got this covered. Then you will come in here and overwatch uh, that door up there. You, Standing by. you could actually dash. Uh, let's just take a look at your info. 190 health. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. So. Two shots from this thing should be able to kill him. And you can dash three times, so... Keep on pushing. Let's see if we can't kill him straight away. Dash. Up here. Oh, there's a triton. Where is it? There. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, dash. In here. Hopefully he can see him. Confirming target. Yeah. Uh, let's shoot the arm. And the torso, it doesn't really matter what. Alright, that thing's dead. Now you have one dash, dash left in you. Which is not enough. We could get up here. Can we do that even without dashing? We can. Let's get up here. Give our guys some willpower. Uh, doesn't mean that they can do anything, but... Let's get into half cover here at least. And you... least get down here. Alright, end the turn. Hopefully that Triton is the last one. Ouch. 42 damage. Miss. Good. Ouch. Ouch. Crap, that's the thing is still alive. Don't, don't kill him, don't kill him! Ooh. Oh, that's another siren. Alright, you. Heal up. You know what? Uh, actually, you... 
we can dash let's dash back here so this thing is dead next turn right that is bleeding pain chameleon no heal so that's dead so that means that you can Take this guy out. Thank you. Uh, you could actually dash again. There's a siren over there. Which I would like to catch. Oh, is there anyone who can dash twice? What's our plan? No. Doesn't seem like it. Right, so... Do come in here, get a bit closer. You... Uh, I want you to get... I want to get you into dashing range. Dashing ahead. Come in here. Comms online. Hmm. Let's let's come up here and just throw an Overwatch in this direction. Oh, there are two of those. There are two sirens. Shit. Okay. I'm glad that I overwatched then. You come in here. Do with another medkit. You can actually overwatch. Whoa, there's a... Ah, that's just this guy. How can you see that guy? Ah, through the... Alright. Let's come in here. We're going to try to kill one of them and... Paralyze the other. Okay, end the turn. He died. Missed. I wonder how fast these guys move. Hit. Boy, mind controlled. What's he attacking? So he's mind controlled. You can dash out here. Mm. Let's shoot him in the head. Alright. The Head is disabled. Which means Huh. I suppose she's still mind controlling him because reasons. You can dash in here and take one shot at this guy. Actually, you can dash and take two, but I don't really want that. Uh, I want you to dash up here. Take a shot at this guy. And then I want you to dash 
over here. I really don't want you to kill him, but I want you to get him low enough that... Okay, now... You can dash once. And then you can run over here I'm and going. stun three times. I really hope that's enough. That is not enough. All right, that means that you need to dash in here, move up as close as you can. Take a shot at him without killing him, preferably. That didn't kill him, but this will. Yeah. So no capture on him, unfortunately. All right, but we did okay. And Mark is now level four. Very good. Right, let's head back to the Geoscape. Okay, a successful mission. What's that? Arachne SP-1 pack, Sunidrian Spider Drone Specialized Pistol Back. Okay. So, we actually have a Sunidrian guy who can use this. Um, some magazines. Okay. So we saved the Haven. What? kind of unit do you have here? None. Funny, it says that it has one. Let's see. Let's just see. So... This is the guy that can use that thing. I really want New Jericho... Havens with something that we can recruit. Maybe it's neutral havens that we can get them from. There's a neutral haven somewhere, right? I thought I found a neutral haven. Maybe I didn't. Thought I did. Hmm. Right, back to Bates, heal up, and... Research complete. Okay, Triton vivisection. There's evidence that the specimen used to be human, but has sub was subjected to violent mutation. The creature appears to have been engineered with the goal of acting as an infiltrator, combining speed and camouflage capabilities taken from marine and land species. The specimen has proven devious in its attempts to escape, suggesting it has retained a significant part of its human intelligence, yet all attempts to communicate with it have failed. Attempts to restore the creature's mind process to its human state have also proven unsuccessful. Okay, 10% more damage to Tritons. And we now have a Siren Autopsy as well. Okay. Uh, you head back to base. You're heading down there. Uh, explore. Cedar Arc. Cedar Arc is a remote haven built by a billionaire philanthropist, uh, Mike Spark, an old competitor of Tobias West's. Spark, like West, generally kept a low profile, so not much is known about him except for his dedication to environmental causes. He said to have financed the Svalbard Global Seed Vault and was involved and was involved with the first attempts to develop a filtration system that could stop the Pandora virus. The population of Cedar Arc was carefully selected from around the world, and all of its inhabitants are extremely loyal to Spark. On the sur surface, everything seems relatively normal, but there is one unusual detail: the people of Cedar Arc refer themselves to as the destined to themselves as the destined. Destined for what is unclear. 
Okay. Upon arriving at Cedar Arc, our operatives have invi are invited to meet the head of the Cedar Arc Executive Council, Mike Spark himself. Spark is a quiet man, but very focused. He seems to have expected our operatives' arrival and offers them a mission, extracting his brother from a disciples of Anu prison ex in exchange for a reward. Uh, I'm gonna refuse the mission. I thought you'd refuse, Spark says with an enigmatic smile, but sometimes it's worth giving it a shot. Anyway, don't you think? Sure is. I wonder if we can go and do it later if you want it. Let's head down here and start the scan. And then we will... Uh, then we'll move, make our way back up. Okay, so you leveled up to level 4. Now, do I want to give you heavy training? I think I do. Uh, wait. No, because you have close quarters. So I do not. Oh, plus 2 speed for 25. Alright, we'll take that. And we'll take a couple in there and one in willpower. All right. Now, one other thing I wanted to check is uh, where is he? Is it this guy? No, it's not. Is it this guy? No. This guy, no. But we have another special class guy. There he is. Uh, equipment. So, Arachnid SP1 pack. Nidrian Spider Drone Specialized Pistol Pack. Uh, okay. We'll give that to you because the new razor needs to go to you anyway. No, not oh. no, not you. Uh, you. New razor, where are you? There you are. Let's give him a gr next gr grenade as well. Okay. Uh, now. I really think I like the hammer better than this damage thing. Well, the hammer takes one hand to use, this takes one hand to use, two action points, both of them. They're basically the same, but the hammer does more damage. We're going to give him that. Like that. Okay. Now, they're healing, so we'll just run time on for a bit. Completed an area scan. And... Research complete. Okay, Chiron autopsy. Summary, Chirons are a newly discovered mutation without any previous precedent. We speculate that they originate from a more advanced structure than those used to gestate Arthrons and Tritons. They fulfill a support role, attacking from great distances, although some mutations also have close range capabilities. Genetic origins 20% Arthropod, 15% Coleoptera, 10% Homo sapiens, 55% unknown. Long range attack, limited close range capability, and some mutations offer offensive mutations. Domino launchers, explosives, worms, goo, close range, stunning, uh, stomper legs, front leg melee variant. Offensive mutations, heavily armored legs, mobility very limited, but agile variant can leap. Okay, and we got a bit of everything. Now these guys are almost healed up so that they are ready to go. 
This mutog research the disciples are engaging in is deeply troubling. Fooling around with mutation is dangerous enough to begin with, but to not even have a proper way of controlling the creature you've created. Okay. Uh, the Hound of Anu. Hmm. Well, yeah, if you can't control it, then it seems rather dangerous. How long before one of these creatures goes berserk? How long before there are unexpected consequences to their genetic composition? How long before a few of them get free and start breeding? Is the Exalted trying to fight the Pandorans or strengthen them? He has a point. He has a point. So, so Jericho likes the Disciples even less and they weren't exactly friend friendly in the first place. So aggressive, 59%. None of them really like each other at all. Oh, uh, are we going up there or are we going up there first? Down there first. I think we're going up here first. Yeah, we're going up there first. Uh, right. You are arriving. Let's start an area scan and explore. And there we go. Exploration site. <clears throat> the Timatu has encountered a weather anomaly. On an otherwise clear day, a tornado that appears to consist of some kind of greenish gas is raging across the countryside. Such anomalous phenomena are the result of the planet's gradual change into an alien environment and would be worth studying, but there is a definite risk to our craft. Now study the anomaly. It's been a rough ride for our operatives on the Tiamat 2, but the data they've collected is invaluable. Our planet is, is changing and we need to understand how. Plus 100 research and the Tiamat 2 took a bit of damage. Okay, let's just see, are they healed? Almost. We'll send the Tiamat 2 on its way and now they're healed. So in the next episode, we will head up to the Biogenesis up here and do that mission. And then we will head down and do the Pandoran layer here. And yeah, that's the plan. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.